In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to translate inequalities. Below here in this chart, you can see all of the different types of words or um, kind of phrases that represent each one of these inequality symbols. For example, if I first look at my, um, my greater than symbol, um, when you're translating, the, the phrase that you're going to use to translate it into this symbol is um, the following is greater than, is more than, and exceeds. Now, I know you might be thinking, well, doesn't is mean an equation? So when you see that word e is, we usually say, oh, that means equal. But it's followed by something that is familiar to us that is an inequality. For example, greater than. So when is is followed by an inequality statement, that means that you are going to represent it using the inequality. All right, here's another one. This is our this is our less than symbol. When we see the words is less than, that means that we're going to use the less than symbol. We could also see phrases like is fewer than. It will also give us that same symbol. Okay, moving on to greater than or equal to. If you see the word is and then that statement that is an inequality statement following it, that means that we're going to be using the greater than or equal to symbol. Also, is no less than. That's also another way that we can say greater than or equal to. And the last one, is at least. When you hear the words is at least, that's like saying um, greater than or equal to. And then the last part of our chart here is going to be less than or equal to. So less than or equal to, if you see the word is in front of it, that means that it's that symbol. Is no more than is another way to say that and is at most is another way to say the less than or equal to symbol. Feel free to refer back and forth to this chart to help you um, with what we're going to do next. All right. We are going to go ahead and translate these inequalities. We're going to translate it just like we did in our last unit. All right. Six is greater than triple a number. All right. Let's go ahead and annotate it. Six is greater than this is how I like to annotate it. I like to put a little loop like that. And that kind of tells me that it is an inequality. So my inequality is greater than is going to look like this. And then I want to finish it. Triple a number. Well, we know that triple means you're multiplying it by three, right? And we know that a number represents a variable. So if we were to translate this, we would say six greater than three x. Let's try another one. Five plus a number is fewer than nine. All right, five plus a number is fewer than. Okay, well that's an inequality. Is fewer than is going to rep be represented by our inequality that looks like this, less than. So it's gonna be nine. So it's gonna be five plus x is fewer than nine. Double a number is at least 20, okay? Double a number, that's gonna be our times two, right? Double, a number is gonna be our x, is at least, we know that at least is an inequality symbol, so that's gonna be my inequality. At least is going to be a greater than or equal to symbol. And then you're gonna put a 20. So we say double a number is at least 20. And the last one, three is no more than. That is definitely an inequality. Is no more than is going to be our less than or equal to inequality. Seven minus a number. So three is no more than seven minus a number. All right, let's try a few more. Three subtracted from a number exceeds 12. Okay, let's go ahead and translate this and annotate it. Three subtracted from. Isn't from a switcheroo word? We're gonna actually switcheroo our from. So a number exceeds. Our word exceeds is a greater than symbol. That is an inequality, 12. So when we put this all together, we look at the we look at the part that is before the inequality. So I'm going to draw a line 
That is all of the things that are before my inequality. That is what I'm going to switch a root. So 3 subtracted from 9, all right? I'm sorry, 3 subtracted from a number. So I'm going to say a number minus 3. Then I'm going to follow it by my inequality symbol and my 12. All right, the next one. 10 is less than the product of 4 and a number. So let's go ahead and annotate. 10 is less than, that's my inequality, the product, that's multiply, of 4 and a number. So I want 10, which is less than the product of 4 and a number. There we go. Let me put circles around my answers here. Okay, 9 more than a number is no less than 15. Okay, 9 more, switcheroo, than a number is no less than. That is an inequality, isn't it? Is no less than. That's going to be greater than or equal to 15. So, again, just like before, I'm going to kind of split up where my inequality starts, and I'm going to, tr I'm going to go ahead and switch over everything before that. 9 more than a number is going to be x plus 9. Then I'm going to write my inequality. And I'm done. And my last one, 3 less than a number is at most 5. So 3 less, oh, I have another switcheroo word, than a number is at most, is at most. Well, that's going to be less than or equal to. And I'm going to follow it by 5. I have a switcheroo word in there, so I'm going to go ahead and split up my inequality. And everything before that, I'm going to switcheroo. So I have x minus 3 is at most. Five. All right, it's very similar to what we've done in the past, but just adding one more thing, that inequality. All right, let's go ahead and translate some, um, some little practical problems. So Jacob read 15, 18 books over the summer, which is at most three times the number of books Ryan read. Well, let's go ahead and look at this problem and see what information we can pull out. So it says here that Jacob read 18 books. All right. Notice how it says now, which is at most. Isn't that my inequality? Isn't that my inequality for less than or equal to? So I have Jacob read 18 books, <clears throat> which is at most. Now, looky here. Three times the number of books Ryan read. Well, the number of books Ryan read, we, we don't know how many he read. So let's go ahead and translate it. Jacob read 18 books, which is at most three times the number that Ryan read, which we don't know how many. Therefore, here's our inequality that represents the situation. All right, Samantha, she played 32 softball games this season, which was fewer than two less than the number of games that Jamie played. All right, so it says Samantha played 32 games. I could translate that into a number 32. Which was. Now, I know everything that we've done right now has been is, but was is a different tense of the word is. So was is basically the same thing as is. So I'm going to say was fewer. Well, fewer I know means less than. So was fewer than, I'm sorry, was fewer than is less than. Now looky here. Two less than the number of games that Jamie played. Well, we don't know how many Jamie played. So let's see if we can piece this together. 32 is fewer than, now I'm gonna put a little line here because I wanna translate two less than the number Jamie played. Well, Jamie played x and two less than that is x minus two. So this is our inequality representing this situation. And the last one. Maria's math class has at least five students more than her science class. All right, let's see. Maria's math class. Well, we don't know how many are in Maria's math class, right? But it says Maria's math class has at least five students more than her science class. Let's go ahead and let's say that Maria's math class, let's call that M. Then we have to translate at least. Okay, well, has at least. Has at least 
is going to be our symbol greater than or equal to. Now, five students more than her science class. Well, five students more than her science class. Well, we don't know how many are in her science class either. So I'm going to represent that by, let's go ahead and say S. Let's see if we can piece this together, even though it's a little bit different. Maria's math class has at least five students more than her science class. Well, isn't that going to be S plus five? Little tricky on this one. Just wanted to keep you on your toes.